Hey, what's up guys? It's Bajent from Baker Hill Farm. Today, I'm gonna show you guys where I store my um, like cured food from the garden. So garlic, potatoes, squash, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We also have some bags of stuff on the bottom, but that won't be there much longer. So, um, I'm not like giving you a tour of my pantry today or anything, but my goal is to get this space ready to put the produce in the garden because some pumpkins are coming in and all my sweet potatoes need to be moved in here um, because they're finished curing. So my plan is, I'm sorry, I could not get an angle that doesn't have this in here. Let me see. I'm gonna try to move you around. Just buckle your seatbelt, okay? Is that better? I don't know. Um, oh. Well. Okay. So, what I plan to do is line this shelf with cardboard because sweet potatoes are out of the ground, so they're dirty. And... Pro tip, not really because I'm not a professional, but we do not wash or rinse our potatoes after we harvest them. This can cause like mildew and mold and all kind of other issues. We leave the dirt on them and let them cure. And this has caused our potatoes to last much longer. So for reference, I'm in a very hot and humid climate we're in Louisiana, I'm in zone eight, and we harvested our potatoes back in May, probably. And this room is climate controlled, but it doesn't get any cooler right now than like 75, 74 degrees. So I have potatoes in here from May. It's the end of August going into September. Plenty of potatoes that have no sprouts or anything on them. So that's pretty good. Um, I think that has a lot to do with us not rinsing them, keeping the dirt on them, letting them cure, because this is not ideal storage conditions for potatoes, but we'd be a root cellar or any other way. This is just what we're working with. So, so right now I'm going to clean these shelves off, put some cardboard down, and then start moving my sweet potatoes in. Another good thing about lining with cardboard is last year when we grew pumpkins and we cured them and we put them in our other pantry, our original pantry to this house, we just put them right on the shelf and we had some that had little cracks in them and sometimes they'll self heal, but if they don't, then you're gonna get seepage all over your cabinet or your shelf and that can attract ants, it can stink, it can mold. So this will just provide a lot easier cleanup and no staining or damage to our actual, sh to our actual shelves. Okay, so. I'm gonna put the cardboard along the wall as well so I don't stain my wall with dirt. I won't do that for this top shelf because it will just have squash and pumpkins. I'll just have, um, you know, something across the bottom, which these shelves are pretty deep. That's actually perfect. So this is how deep they are. That's probably almost two feet. I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Stared at the light, not gonna sneeze. a little bit a piece 
these to go right there in the corner. I'm gonna bring you closer as I start to fill it up with sweet potatoes. All right, so we're gonna bring them over here and just start cutting them. Just do a bottom layer first. It's potato time. Okay, so this is what we've got. We have a little bit more sweet potatoes out, um, still curing ones that we found um, in our our last video. We were talking about mulch, so those are still curing. So they all fit up here. We were gonna put a lip here on the front, and we might still do that, but they're not rolling or anything, so. It's not really necessary. But up here, this is where I'll put all of my winter squash. And then down here are my red potatoes. Some of them are starting to get eyes, but they're still pretty firm, so I'm not worried about it. Here is our garlic. Um, this is not all of our garlic. We have some on a drying rack still. That hasn't been dry for months. <laughs> Here's what's left of our um, Yukon potatoes and then this crate here we will use for another variety of sweet potatoes we grew that we have not harvested yet. So that is how we are storing 252 pounds of sweet potatoes which that's actually not accurate because we harvested more and we have another crop of a different variety of sweet potato. But yep so this room in the winter will probably be around 60 degrees and we have a fan in here. So it's not gonna get in 60 degree temps in here for several more months. So I'll probably just keep the fan on to keep it cool and the air circulating, but um, it's like 70 degrees in here right now. Actually, it's probably a little bit warmer because this is pretty far away from our thermostat. But I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.